you cool cats this is Mina with another episode of the Danganronpa 3 anime and uh, starting off at the top we're going to talk about something that I saw Ricky post to me on Twitter which is maybe I should guess who lives and who dies in the anime along with who I think the mastermind is going to be so right here is the image that Ricky sent me and then I, uh, I, I altered it a bit by uh, basically taking pictures of the opening, the anime intro opening song, and uh, I have them all alive here, and now you can see them all dead in case they don't die and you can't see all the hard work I put into it. And now we're going to just make the teacher only be dead, and now we're going to show you my thoughts on who I think will live and die. So, it's really hard for me to kill off one of the survivors of the Danganronpa 1 anime. I, I just have a hard time convincing myself that they can die if if I were to say who's definitely going to make it out of this alive like 100% like I would I would put down money and be a betting person on who's going to to live and who's going to die I'd bet all the money I have on that Hagakure is going to make it out of this <laughs> that guy has like it, he should have a second talent which is luck I just, I can't believe that he survived the first killing game, but also, he's not a part of the, uh, he's not trapped inside of the killing game proper, or at least he wasn't last that I saw. He was, like, he was outside when the whole thing went down. Um, and more, more importantly, if you look at the motif of, like, what his death is, at least in the, um, all the characters have, like, crazy looking deaths. But his has, like, all these vines wrapped around him. And I almost feel like that's kind of symbolizing the fact that he can't be a part of it. Like, he's trapped away from the rest of the group or something like that. I don't know how to describe it. But I think it's basically that he can't he can't be a part of it. So I think he's definitely going to live. Um, if I were to be a, another betting person, I would bet that Makoto is going to make out of this alive. I just... I think that... When Monokuma said that basically, you know, it's going to be a showdown between, like, the final showdown between Monokuma and uh, Makoto, I think that Makoto will come out on top. Because I, I, I do believe that Hope will win this whole thing. So, or at least I think Makoto's version of Hope will live. So I really feel that um, Makoto's going to get out of this alive. I'm having... I'm having, like, a really sinking, sad feeling that it's possible, then, that Kirigiri or Asahina might die. But I am going to remain on the hopeful side and say that the entire top row here are all going to make it out of this alive. Um, as for the other two people that I decide who would live, I'm, I'm so... I, the thing is, is that there's always going to be more people that die than live. So I felt like there were too many people that I thought were going to live. And so I started like basically cutting off the people that I thought. So I don't know why I think this, this um, girl that I've, I, I've given them all nicknames now because I don't know their names. <laughs> so right now, uh, this girl I named Fluffy and Fluffy here, I just assumed would live because I think that Whenever there's a pair of people in the game, like people who are paired off, one of them always ends up dying and one of them always ends up living. This could break the trend. I'm not saying that it will or won't, but I just, that's usually what happens. And between her and the guy who was munching food from her lap, I just feel like she might live. I don't have any other basis other than that. That's literally it. As for the punchy guy, why I think I named him punchy guy, <laughs> why punchy guy gets to live, I just assume that anybody who is at, like, stark opposition to the protagonist, at least in the Danganronpa series, has a chance of, of living more than anybody else. Like, the more, the more opposed you are to Makoto, I just feel like you got, you know, raise your life expectancy by quite a bit. And I don't mean, like, Junko Inoshima level of opposition. I just mean, like, somebody like Byakuya um, was just so opposed to Makoto. And, like, just because that created, like, some sort of tension, I just feel like that's going to make him live. I don't... 
have anything other than that. Um, so I guess let's go across from basically the top left to the bottom right on who I think is going to die and why. Uh, I don't know why I picked him, the, the first guy to die, the Narukami guy. Um, honestly, I would actually flip him to Liv's. But I just feel like there needs to be more people dying in the anime than anything else. So, yeah, I, I, I just, I don't know. He's, he's, like, basically, if I, if I change my mind on the fluffy girl, I might end up making him on the live side, but I don't know. I'm torn. I guess the thing is, is the other thing is, when I was looking at the characters and, like, just who, who I felt strongly should die, the, the biggest thing for me is like I think that the mastermind is definitely going to die in this case um and he's one of three people I'm torn between three people that I that could be the mastermind um so I'm since since I think one of the three people is going to be the mastermind I marked all three of them dead um uh the next person is this girl with the mask and I think it's a girl I think it's a girl. <laughs> I don't know. She has, you know, we're just going to go on the assumption that it's a girl. And, uh, I just, I don't have too much to say about why I think she's going to die other than, um, I think that because she knew about what was going on, I think that she's going to die just because she's a smarter person. And, there's a tendency for smarter people to die. I really don't have a reason for this girl to die. I just, I feel strongly that she might die, though, somehow. Uh, the guy next to her, the guy with the hat, he's kind of flighty. And because of that, I just, I don't know. I think that he might be one of those people that we don't get a lot of backstory on and just dies. Maybe he might die quickly. I have no idea. I just don't, I don't know. Normally what happens is, is the, in, to me, whenever I watch a Danganronpa, um, like, whenever I watch my Danganronpa games play out, the thing that I tend to notice is that, like, the more, the more you step forward at the front, the more likely you are going to either die very quickly or you're going to last the whole way. So the more you stand out, the more important you are. You're either going to have a very important death or you're going to be a survivor. He, both of the two people here are quieter people, barely, barely doing anything. And I just, I feel that they might just be one of those people who die and slip off. Um, next person down is this girl with the scarf. Um, with the crazy bubbly hair. I don't know how to describe it. I named her Scarf. <laughs> um, Scarf here, I just, I don't know. I think I just needed to fill out the roster of people who die. Um, a little suspicious that she's got like that sort of like scarf covering her mouth. So that way you can't really see what, what she's thinking. And that, that's kind of, I don't know, that's suspicious. But I just think that she's going to die. Maybe she'll die sad. Who knows? Um... And then comes Sleepy Guy. Now, Sleepy Guy here, okay, so if I were to say, like, the three people that I thought were going to be the mastermind, he's actually one of them, and it's only because he showed up to this. Like, he said that he was called here by the chairman, and the chairman looked kind of surprised that he was here. Um, so I, I don't know if that was a lie or if, I, I don't know. So I, I, I guess I, I feel like maybe he might have orchestrated this. And because of that, I marked him as dead. Uh, then, of course, we don't need to talk about the teacher. She's dead. Uh, moving down to the bottom, we have the chairman, who I named Old Guy. Um, uh, the chairman is the third person that I thought could be the mastermind. So it's either Narukami, Sleepy, or Chairman <laughs> that is the mastermind in my mind. I haven't decided which, and I guess maybe as maybe as the episodes flesh out and I get to see more of these characters other than just what we barely saw in the first episode, I'll get a better idea of how I feel towards them. It's really hard to decide if I think someone's going to live or die immediately just by looking at the character, because you don't get a real sense of their personality, and like it's only after I see like 
you know, a little more of their dialogue that I start to really feel strongly about their their living or dying situation. Um, the high-pitched guy with the really nice-looking teeth here, I don't know. I, I think he might die. I think he might die pretty early, maybe? I just don't feel strongly that uh, that he's got that much going on with him. Maybe he does, but between him, the lady with the mask, and the guy with the hat, um, and the scarf girl, I just don't, I'm not getting a strong impression out of them, which leads me to think that one of them is going to die, like, super duper quick. Um, at least one of them is going to die super duper quick. I feel, I feel strongly, and unfortunately, I feel that this guy probably has the highest percent chance of dying very quickly because there's not a lot going on with him that I can pick up from a personality and um typically the goofy looking characters that have like the beady eyes or something like that tend to die first or early sorry <laughs> uh and then comes cloak guy uh red cloak guy I call them on the uh image here. And Red Cloak Guy, I just assume, will die because I think that the his companion will live and he doesn't seem he doesn't seem to be the type to uh, be able to think for himself because he's just kind of like moving along at that girl's pace. I don't know. Could be wrong. We'll see later. And lastly, this bull guy. And the reason why I think that he will die rather than live is because he kind of stuck up for Makoto early on. And I have a feeling that because whenever whenever you have somebody who sticks up for someone else, I don't know, I always get this feeling that the person who is opposed to Makoto, you know, is going to at least live, like, maybe, like, kind of like Byakuya. And then the person who's, like, on Makoto's side, like, early on, is going to die. I, I don't know. I don't know why I get that feeling. It's just storytelling-wise how Danganronpa tends to go. So whether I'm right or wrong about any of this, in case you're wondering, it doesn't matter. This is just like an assumption on my part, and so that way you guys can kind of get into my head and see how I feel about the characters. And with all that being said, let's move on to watching the episode. So I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so, like, immediately the first thing that happened was we heard this voice that said, Oh, I died, and it showed the teacher eating popcorn, and it sounds like a film reel is going on, like, like the, um, the older film reels, and, um, I end up present for a lot of decisive situations, don't I? That's kind of, I don't know what to say. She, she's like, is she talking from the afterlife? What is going on? This is bizarre. Um, but I, I, I just re remembered something as I was, as I started the episode. The first thing that I remembered was when I was editing the episode for um, the previous episode of the, the anime, I noticed that the only person I didn't see that was there was... Chiaki, which makes me really sad because, I mean, not, not sad because I don't want to see her filled with despair, but because, like, Chiaki was, like, my favorite, she's my favorite character of all of Danganronpa, and I know, like, judge me, judge me how you want for that, like, that, that I like her more than any of the Danganronpa 3 characters, or V3 characters, but I love Chiaki, and now I'm thinking to myself, like, well, that makes sense, because... Chiaki was just an AI created for 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 Danganronpa 2. So I was thinking to myself, like, oh no, that means that she was never real. And yeah, that's sad. Because <laughs> I love Chiaki. <laughs> so the teacher said, uh, this is a tale of hope that ends in despair. So does it have a bad ending, you ask? I'm, I'm getting chills up and down my arm. I don't know how I feel about this teacher because... It, it's not the same sort of tone and voice that she had when she was talking to Makoto. It sounds like it's, it sounds like a, an apathetic sort of playful tone in a way. It's really eerie and it's giving me chills. So the opening has completely changed. It's a completely different song that we're listening to and the opening doesn't have any of the characters from the side future. So I guess the despair 
side is, uh, is, is completely different. It has nothing, maybe it has nothing to do with the, the, the well, apparently, maybe, maybe this is, like, all this, like, maybe we're gonna watch the lives of the Dagarampa 2 characters. Oh my gosh, that would be so awesome. The song here is really weird because it's, I, I can't describe the song, you'll have to listen to it yourself, but it's, like, really soft and it's kind of eerie. Also, this is definitely the fake Togami. Um, and then there's like a, a guy behind him. So is like, is the fake Togami's real face the person behind him? I'm confused. Oh, that's creepy. So it, it, it just before this scene, it had like all of the characters of Danganronpa 2 in the hands of Junko. Uh, well, it backed out and you could see the hands. And you can see her sister behind her. And now it has all the characters. Presumably, it looks like, I'm guessing, that they're all falling to despair. Oh, and there we have Hajime. And I still don't think I've seen Chiaki, which means I'm right. I'm not going to see Chiaki. And it has the teacher falling. I, it, she's in the same position as she was in the, um, in the first episode. <gasps> oh. That, that, that has to be Chiaki, right? She just turned to look at me. Oh my god! Oh, hey, whoa! Oh, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes right here. Um, so that's the teacher. But look who's sitting in that chair right there. It's the guy. It's the flighty guy. It's the guy who I said was... <laughs> hasn't shown to be important at all. And here he is. He's like, what, what were you saying about me? I'm like, oh, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Kirigiri's dad was the principal. So as I thought, he's a pretty flighty guy. But this is definitely him. Like, now that I can see his face for sure, this is definitely that guy that was there. Interesting. We have to keep an eye out on him. <laughs> she went to the classroom and only four of them are present. What are the rest of them doing? I didn't think of, like, all the students as bad. <laughs> it's more surprising that Fuyuhiko managed to show up. Of, of all the students, he's there. I love it. He has his eye. <laughs> they were talking about, like, basically cutting her up and taking out all her insides and organs, and she was like, don't worry, I've got lots of life insurance, and what is going on? <laughs> what is the point of that? Oh my god, Sayonji. I forgot how much I hated Sayonji. If you're a fan of Sayonji and you're upset by that, just just realize, I tend to not like characters that are mean. It just, it's just my instinct to not like mean characters. That doesn't mean she's bad, it's just my preference. Okay, that makes sense. Mikan's showing up. Um, she's showing up late. Um, uh, when I first played Danganronpa 2, I, uh, the people that I immediately hung out with, I'm trying to remember specifically who they were, all were, I, if I remember correctly, the people that I hung out with first was I, I hung out with the um, Byakuya character, and then I hung out with I don't remember who I hung out with. I might have tried hanging out with Akane, but I know that I I completed I 100%ed Mikan, and I also 100%ed uh, Gundam Tanaka, and also Chiaki. Those were the characters, if I remember correctly, those were the ones that I that I uh, hung out with. And I think I was working on... No, I also finished Fuyuhiko. That's right. I, I mastered Fuyuhiko's. Those were all the people that I hung out with, if I remember correctly. So um, it's, it's going to be interesting to see them now. I was wondering if she was going to be like a... A, um, a, basically the ultimate maid or something like that um, but the she's the housekeeper the reason why I was assuming maid was because she was cleaning around the um, the entire facility while, while she was alive in the um, future arc so I, I, I thought possibly she had been a, like a former high school level maid cool they walked into the boys' bathroom. I'm like, why are they going into the? Oh, of course, of course. 
Wow. Never will I ever underestimate how bad he needed to go to the bathroom. Holy smokes. Teacher is not going to put up with his perverted jokes. Though I don't think he will hate this. Honestly, I was surprised that he wasn't in the classroom already to hang out with Sonya. That was, that was the biggest surprise of anybody. Wow. Tanaka is actually way cuter when he was in high school. I can't even put into words what just happened just now. Kameda's luck has always been crazy, though. <laughs> this is even- this is ridiculous, though. I can't- this is, like, the most amazing anime ever. I would want to watch a hundred episodes of this. That doesn't look like Togami. Oh, so he's pretending to be somebody else. The super high school level animator. She's going to collect the last student, but Hajime was in the reserve course, right? So... I can't put it in the words how happy I am! Oh my gosh, it's Chiyaki! Face to face with the waifu! Ah! <laughs> it's the Chiyaki's excited face! I'm so happy! Oh no, Hinata's pretty jealous. Oh, this will be tough. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chiaki giving him sweet life advice. <gasps> she's so perfect. Even when been, even when she's being carried off, she's like, bye bye. <laughs> she's still playing her game. <sighs> I'm sorry. This is gonna. If if you hoped that I would not freak out when I saw the waifu on the screen. I don't know what to tell you. You may have to deal with me freaking out every time she appears on the screen. Oh, I love her so much. The former super high school level student council president. How how does one become the the super high school level student council president? Did you have to be like the best student council president in like any other school around the world? That was like that always confused me about Miss Sonia about being like the super duper high school level princess or whatever that th that's just you just are those things you didn't do i i don't know i guess I, I was always confused by that particular talent you can clearly see mr punchy guy here in this picture too so interesting so that is the end of the episode two or the first episode of side despair however you want to look at it um, really cool to see all the characters interact, although it's a little bittersweet seeing Hajime because he's really hung up on being a re reserve course student. Still, Chiaki was like doing really well at cheering him up and it's so good to see her. It's so good to see all of them again. It's like seeing all your old friends. I don't know how to describe it. It's this, this happy feeling of seeing them all and everyone's happy and <laughs> you know what that means? This is side despair. That means this is just going to like get worse and worse as the the episodes go on. Um, I guess the only thing that makes me a little ner nervous about the whole thing is like we never saw like how evil Chiaki got, and I'm really really like I'm like oh god if she becomes like like super duper despaired out the way Junko turned all the rest of them. I'm going to be filled with despair. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to the next side. Um, I, I'm not changing any of my positions on who I think lives or dies yet. Uh, that'll just have to wait till the end of the next episode before I really get a feeling on any of them. I will say, though, that now I'm a little more interested in the blonde-haired guy. Um, <clears throat> the guy who is... Uh, in the teacher's or the principal's office with um I think this girl's name or the the teacher right here the maid is Chise I think I've remembered her name I have not remembered the other names <laughs> so Chise here um I, I I don't know um we'll see how things go I hope you guys enjoyed this episode I'll see you in the next one bye bye